Well, from 2000 to 2006, about 3 million Americans became new homeowners thanks in part to easy credit. As a result, mortgage debt in this country rose from $6 trillion in 2000 to $13 trillion in 2006. And as we're all watching today, that boom has been followed by a very big bust. Joining us today with more on where we stand in this current real estate crisis is attorney and real estate entrepreneur Jim Randall of Rand Real Estate in Westport. He's written a brand new book, The Skinny on America's Foreclosure Crisis. Jim, always good to have you on the program. Thank you. Good to be here. A clever little book really boils it down in a very simple fashion, and I'll, I'll show people. I mean, you really do. When you say the skinny, you do skinny little stick figures yeah, yeah. actually illustrate stick the people, point. Yeah. yeah. Um, why the book? Why do you want to write the book? I think we're in a real mess, Becky, and I think that most people really don't understand how we got here, and both in terms of historically looking back, how the heck did we get here, and prospectively, how can we avoid getting here in the future and or rig wriggle, wriggle ourselves out of here. Yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, is this essential so we don't make these mistakes, future home buyers don't make these mistakes again? Yeah, it's very important for the home buyer to understand the last five, six years has been just kind of the boom, boom mentality. Anything goes, debt was easy, 100% financing. That's not going to happen again in the near future. Home buyers have got to understand the process. One, to be able to buy and sell, and two, to be able to avoid problems in the future. Is it your opinion that there's enough blame to go around? I mean, we talk about um, home buyers that don't do their homework. We talk about mortgage lenders that offer these ridiculous packages with the promises of you can get a million dollar home with no money down. Uh, right. Oh, and you work a freelance job. That's okay. Right. I mean, do you think there's enough blame to go around in there's this There's blame there at every link in the chain. Uh, it's a perfect storm, really, what happened. Right from the home buyer who really didn't understand what he or she was signing, the real estate agent, the mortgage broker, the attorneys could have done perhaps a better job explaining, the lenders, the people who bought the mortgages, the investors who didn't do their homework buying the mortgages, a lot of blame to go around. Here we are. We've got the Federal Reserve putting new regulations uh, for the mortgage industry, specifically mortgage lenders in right. place. I mean, many people would say too little, too late, but at this point, considering where we are, do you think these new regulations will make a difference? They will. They're going to tighten the process. For example, one of the new regulations requires a lender to consider the borrower's ability to repay. So the lender has to make a decision, yes, this borrower can actually pay this mortgage and or the lender is going to have some liability or exposure. That hasn't occurred at all in the last three or four or five years, so it will make a difference. Yeah, let's talk about some of these loans that were available to people. I mean, one, for example, I don't know if it's a nickname or it's an industry name, the Ninja Loan, for example, Right. Uh, which means? No income, no asset, no job. Usually, no house. <laughs> <laughs> right, but they were able to get a house in, in the last few years. I mean, are we going to see those types of loans eliminated? Yeah, those types are gone today, although in the height of the boom, they were prevalent. We will see that. We'll, we, we will see people having to give larger deposits in order to have mortgage insurance. We're already seeing a real tightening of credit and borrowing under, uh, underwriting. If you could advise a homeowner, a first-time homeowner or buyer especially, um, what the pitfalls are out there and what to avoid, what would you tell him or her? I would say be aware of conflicts. Be aware of the motivation of your real estate agent. At real estate agent, be aware of the motivation of the mortgage broker. Be aware of how attorneys think and work. Be aware of your lender's motivation. They're not always on your side. In fact, many cases there's a conflict. So educate yourself. This isn't brain surgery. Buying a home, although a very very important decision, is really not that complicated when you take apart the pieces. Yeah, I mean there's some very good brokers out there and agents out there, but. Um you're right. Many of them do have their own agenda and their right. own fee structure that they're working toward, et cetera. As, right. you, as you see the market out there today, let's talk about residential first off. Do you think we've hit a bottom here in Fairfield County? Unfortunately, I don't, and most experts, commentators don't. They think, first of all, nationally, we probably have another 10 to 15 percent price declines. Uh, Fairfield County, which used to be immune in most people's minds to the national trends, is not and probably maybe another 10 to 15 percent decline in Fairfield County as well. Yeah, also the commercial market. I mean, so much, especially if you're in lower Fairfield County, is tied to the, the financials and the financial sector. I mean, right. A city like Stanford. Right. So heavily tied to that industry. Right. Are there concerns on the commercial level? 
that if we can continue to see the deterioration in the financial sector, that that's really going to have an adverse effect on the commercial real estate market in the city? There are concerns. Uh, for example, let's start with Manhattan. Uh, for the first time in a long time, we've seen an increase in vacancy. We've seen large blocks of space, like Bear Stern space, come on the market. And that filters its way to Fairfield County. Fairfield County is intertwined with Manhattan and Westchester markets. Mm. If you could give one piece of advice out there to home buyers, future home buyers, what would it be? Educate yourself. This isn't high tech or you know really sophisticated math. Understand the process and you'll do fine. Mm -hmm. Do your homework. Right. Always pays off. All right, this is the, the very beginning of a series of books. It is. All right, and you have a website where people can find out more. Yes, it's jimrandall.com, R-A-N-D-E-L. That makes sense. Right. <laughs> and we have a lot of free offerings and books and literature and educate yourself stuff. Absolutely. You can start right there. Jim, good to have you on the program. Thank you. Good to be here. And we'll ba be back with more 12 on the Money after a break. Go fast.